Hi guys, it's Lynette. Let's make a quick, easy, and delicious ginger spice granola. First thing we're gonna do is put four cups of old-fashioned oats right into our bowl. We're gonna to add to that one and a half cup of flaked coconut. If you wanna add nuts, you can add one cup of nuts of your choice to the mixture. Next, we're gonna spice it up. We have one half teaspoon ginger, one teaspoon cinnamon, and one half teaspoon nutmeg. Give all of that a good stir. In a separate bowl, we're gonna mix one quarter cup of melted coconut oil, one quarter cup honey, and one teaspoon vanilla extract. You're gonna give all of that a good mix. Don't worry about it if it does not mix completely, just mix it as good as you can. And we're gonna pour that mixture right over top of our oat mixture. We're gonna give all of that a good stir until everything is well combined. Once it's combined, it'll look like this. All right, so we're gonna transfer that mixture to a parchment lined baking sheet. We're gonna bake our granola on 350 degrees for about 25 minutes. Some ovens take longer, some ovens take a little bit shorter. It depends on your oven. After you pop it in the oven and about 10 minutes later, you can see it starting to brown. We're gonna give it a good stir. You wanna concentrate on the edges of your pan and bring in the mixture from the edge to the center because the edge browns a lot quicker. We're gonna let it continue to bake until it's nice and golden brown and toasted just like this. Remove it from the oven and let it cool. Once our granola is cool, it'll look like this. You'll have a few chunks, which are great. I love the chunks. We're gonna transfer our mixture to a big mixing bowl. And I'm gonna show you one of those chunks. I love those. <laughs> you can leave those in there. You don't have to break them up. We're gonna add some chopped crystallized ginger. And this is what it looks like. I just chopped it up. I added about a half a cup. Add it in one cup raisins. Add it in one cup of flaked coconut. I made this coconut myself. I toasted it myself, so you can use the store bowl kind if you like. Add it in one half cup of dried cranberries and one cup banana chips. Totally up to you what you want to add. Granola is fun. Just add whatever it is you like the best. Those are my banana chips. We're going to give all of this a good mix. Get everything well combined. It's looking so good till it looks like this. Now you wanna transfer your mixture to an airtight container. I use mason jars, Ziploc bags work fine. It'll keep for about two to four weeks at room temperature in a cool place. Hopefully you all give this recipe a try and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.